All right, I'd like to demonstrate uh, the different types of grips. Um, the conventional grip, which I call a neutral grip, is the uh, when you put your top hand on the club, in this situation my left hand because I'm right-handed, there's the V that forms with your uh, index finger on your left hand and the thumb on your left hand. And that V will point towards your right shoulder. Now the golf club is important to know the golf club goes in your fingers and not in the palm of your hand. So as I put my right hand on again, the golf club goes in my fingers and then I form another V as you'll see here. Now this V is pointed up my right side but not to my right shoulder. All right, so this would be what I consider a neutral grip. Okay, all right. Now during the chipping technique, the alteration that we make is I'll take my left hand and now I'll run the thumb down the shaft this way, so there really is no V there. All right, and then I put my right hand on, and that V would go up the center of my body here, up my sternum. So this would be a weak grip. This is one that we use with our, all of our chipping and pitching techniques. This allows the club face to stay open through impact and to not use the leading edge of the golf club, but use the bounce of the club. Now, uh, for someone that uh, has naturally a strong grip, a lot of young people have strong grips because they're not as uh, uh, they're not as strong as other people. So normally this gives them a little more leverage. But this is a flawed grip because when you use a strong grip, you have to make compensations in your golf swing to get the golf club square at impact. So this would be considered a strong grip, and it would be pointed to your right hip. If you're doing this, I recommend that you learn how to move that hand more on top of the club and get that V pointing more towards your right shoulder.